think the overall event went very well because I was very surprised at how well our parents performed with um, making sure the event flowed, um, getting the people in the front gate, uh, operating the concession stand. For me, not one parent came to me with any uh, request for help or assistance or Mr. Goodwin, can you or none of that stuff. So I was actually very, very pleased with that, that I was able to focus 100% on the band. So I think it went very well for that aspect alone. No, I, I saw the video and it was like a really good time, man. There were like so much energy chairs were flying through the air. It was like a really good time. And you know, the staff, you know, the staff gave them the energy and the band students, they reciprocated. And you know, that's what we always expect and hope for from our students. It's the expectation and they met it and exceeded with flying colors. Really proud of them. It was awesome. It was awesome, man. Watching our kids execute with all the distractions from the other band directors, with all the antics and all the talking, uh, the Wheaties, all that, the, all that weak stuff. But we showed who was eating their Wheaties before we came. So discipline we had, the, the fact that our kids were focused and didn't allow none of that stuff to take them off what we were there to do, that's, that's, that's what made it so lit to me. Preparation for the band bra was completely separate than the preparation for UBC. So we weren't even focusing on UBC at all during our two weeks of preparation for the band bra. So for this week, we have to incorporate field show, which is definitely always a challenge because it's field show, you know, you gotta do technique and stuff like that. But that comes with a part of the process. It's always a push and I'm always excited because I get to learn new, you know, stunts and tricks I've never learned before. So it's always fun for me. to work um, 10 times harder than you do with stand routines because you have to worry about getting across the floor and moving here to there in like a matter of seconds. I love field show because it keeps me in shape and um, we be in front of the band so it's like we get noticed and like we be sticking our movements and everything so we just look good all the time. Um, like he mentioned we have to incorporate a field show now which like he said we weren't focused on it at all for the last two weeks. They learned this field show probably a month ago and haven't touched it since. I actually changed it. Like I've added more choreography to it. I've changed the choreography that they were already working on or that they already thought they knew. And we expect them to, to get the information and to perform at a certain level. Like there is no, oh, I only had three days. Nobody cares what you had. The audience does not care how many days you had to prepare for a performance. They just wanna see the performance. When I first got here, like I'm, I was always the dance guy. You know what I'm saying? I came up with the dance routines. You know, just that creative part of the the look of the band program and stuff like that. But as I get older, and whenever I say this, people are always like, hey, 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 "You're not that old." Well, I'm not saying I'm old, but as I get older, our job as a staff is to prepare them leadership-wise as well. And as leaders, we should be able to step back 
and say, okay, you need a dance routine. You guys need to figure this out because this is your dance. This is your band. When it's time to perform, we're not the ones that are out there performing. So um, let me tell you, these students have taken like the foundation of dance routines that I gave them and have taken it to another level. Who is it? Who is it? No. Uh, Cam, come up here. Who is who are we pointing at? Dwayne? Hey, hey I Dwayne, said Sean. She's doing pretty decent. I'm playing Sean too. I said it was Sean. I said Sean. Sean. Yep. Bro, you're killing yeah. him back there. He's TikTok King back there, bro. Sean is going in. Rashad, let's go. He's back there. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, dancers, move back for me. Ryan. Uh, huh? Ryan, you got it? Ryan, let's go. She's not, she's not down. All right, here we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Y'all face them and entertain. Make, get a space, get a space somewhere. Y'all got a space. Don't embarrass me, Ryan. Uh, get on the red. All y'all get on the red. Get on the red, get on the red. Stay all in the line. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead, get some pull out, Patricia and Julie. Pull out, here we go. Get this, not y'all, y'all watching. They about to show y'all how it's done. What we just been doing? Here we go, five at the break, and six at the break. Like I understand there's this whole TikTok thing which makes me kind of disconnected from this 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 uh generation but just the movements and the the isolations and the visuals like you don't get that from many high school bands band programs period you know what I'm saying they don't understand the the actual purpose of the dance routine but for these kids to understand that purpose and to incorporate it in their movements like I'm a it's on another level A lot of the routines that were danced um, at the Cardinal Band Bra uh, were choreographed by the students themselves, uh, the dolls. Um, so the same way that you know, I put the responsibility on the students. That's the, that's how the whole staff prepares the students for leadership, things of that nature.